helps me separate from um, life, life stressors. I'm able, it takes uh, quite a bit of focus in order to, uh, to shoot. You know that it's a process you have to go through in order to, to consistently place an arrow at one little fine point that you wanted to hit. So with that, you have to, you have to totally be concentrated in where you want to hit. So along with that, that I think that's what keeps me coming back because I'm able to shut down life stressors and just concentrate on something that brings me joy. I, I love it for the physicalness of it because it's made me uh, stronger, made me stand up. Uh, those aspects of it, plus the mental game part of it, it just makes me be much more focused. I shoot freestyle, which uh, allows you to have movable sights, long stabilizers, pretty much anything you can screw on a bow to allow you to shoot it in the freestyle. And right now, that's probably the, the largest uh, class when it comes to uh, male competitors. From there, you have the bow hunter freestyle, which is you know fixed pins and short stabilizers on the 11 inches and it's sort of to mimic what you actually go hunting with minus the broadheads. I would like to compete and see where I can go in my own mental game part of this because it's all in the head once you get to a certain point in shooting. A limpet recurve is almost just like freestyle just a recurve bow it's a longer version of a recurve. Uh, the easiest way to remember it, it's the only bow allowed in the Olympic. <laughs> So competitive archery, uh, to me, it's uh, a weekend of trying to beat my fellow man at something that I love doing. I would advise, um, even if there's just a little inkling of interest in archery, go to a local pro shop. Um, ask them, dude, can they, you know, just take a couple of lessons to see whether, whether they like it or not. And I can almost guarantee you, once they draw a bow and fire that first arrow, they're going to be addicted to it.